Police in Leander say they are saving thousands of dollars in fuel costs after installing a small device that changes the way gasoline burns in their patrol vehicles. A pilot project began about a year and a half ago, and as I found out today, newly released data are so encouraging the department has plans to expand the program. The need to innovate started with a little budget crisis at Leander PD. It happened to us a few years ago. We started getting a pinch. We were like getting down to the end of the budget year. And starting to run out of gas money. Today, one solution is tucked under the hood of this police Chevy Tahoe. We believe, yeah, it's, it's saving us, uh, we've estimated close to about $10,000. That's significant in a $130,000 fuel budget, money that can be put to other uses like training or new equipment. So what is this metal tube? The fuel ecosystem is a $400 cylinder filled with a copper mesh filter attached to the vehicle's fuel line. It's supposed to agitate the fuel so it combusts more completely. In March of 2012, Leander PD first installed the devices in six vehicles. They liked the results so much, soon they put them in more. Right now they're in 14 with plans to install the devices in more this fall. From a miles per gallon perspective, the police department's average fuel economy went from 7.9 MPG to 8.8 MPG. That's more than a 12% average improvement. We first met the man who distributes the devices back in 2005. That's when a KXAN vehicle was outfitted with the fuel ecosystem. In a short city drive, our own testing did show some decrease in carbon monoxide output. Today, he told us Americans can be slow to adapt to change. Why isn't there a critical mass on that? I think it has a lot to do with skepticism. Uh, other products that, like you mentioned, does not work. And if one doesn't work, then probably none of them work. And that's what I've come across. But one local police department, it seems, is a happy customer. It's whatever we can do to save some money. And Rich Perlman, by the way, says the initial cost of the device, again, $400 in most vehicles, turns some people away. And Leander police aren't the only law enforcement agencies trying to find cost savings in their fleets. Got some photos for you here. Austin police have taken delivery of a couple dozen of these new Ford Explorer flex fuel vehicles. The police say they cost the same as a common patrol car, but they offer better interior room and visibility.